Good evening. Anti-toll protesters have stepped up their campaign against controversial plans to introduce a charge to use the busy Widnes Runcorn Bridge in Cheshire. It's to raise money for a new Mersey crossing, as Eunice Muller reports. The Mersey Gateway project will see a new toll bridge between Runcorn and Widnes. But its arrival will also introduce charges for using the Silver Jubilee Bridge that opened in 1961. Today at a public meeting, residents feared that would divide the borough. It's supposed to be one borough and this decision is actually going to undo all of that work for the last 40 years. Disproportionately impacts the working people of the borough. For years, years we've had a free bridge. And two and another one. I said, we're going to make you pay for them both now. According to Halton Council, the government's position is that without tolls, the £589 million scheme couldn't go ahead. To cushion the impact of pricing, residents are being offered 300 free one way trips across this bridge or the Mersey Gateway and a reduced toll charge of £1.80 compared to £2 for other drivers. It's an insult, to be honest, an absolute insult. We're the 27th most deprived borough in the area. Um, we don't have the best employment record. By the time the Mersey Gateway opens in 2017, these residents are confident they will have made their case to keep the Silver Jubilee Bridge toll-free. Eunice Muller, BBC Northwest Tonight, Halton. Dozens of people across the Northwest have been recognised in the Queen's Birthday Honours List. Sylvia Lancaster's daughter Sophie was beaten to death in a park in 2007 for being a goth. Sylvia has received an OBE after setting up a foundation in Sophie's memory. We get messages from, from young people, older people, and they say to us, you know, thanks for the work that you do because it makes us feel safer. And at the end of the day, that's what it's about, you know. Amongst many others who've been recognised is Merseyside's Chief Constable John Murphy. He's been knighted for services to policing. And building a reputation for himself is 22-year-old Ashley Terran from Warrington. He's received the British Empire Medal for services to skills. Well done to everyone else who got an award. Now, many of us will be glued to England's opening World Cup tie against Italy tonight on BBC One. But for one family in Atherton, it's got special significance. 14-year-old Andrew Gerrard will walk out with his heroes as a flag bearer for the England team. He's overwhelmed a bit, oh, really, you know, it's, uh, it's like visiting another planet for him, really, you know. Andrew's done extremely well throughout his whole life. He's an opportunity he'll never forget walking out onto that pitch in front of millions of people. As part of the Centenary Centre uh, commemorations for the Great War, the BBC's World War I at Home tour is at Liverpool's Pier Head this weekend. It's there to reflect the dramatic impact the conflict had on families and the community, and it coincides with the city's River Mersey Festival. We've got people coming through asking questions about the, the army, but obviously lots, lots of people talking about the Merchant Navy and the Royal Navy because of the connections to, to Liverpool. So there's been some really fascinating stories and, and lots more to do before we finish today. Some sad news. The Manchester-born actor Sam Kelly has died at the age of 70. Probably best known for his roles in Porridge and Alo Alo, his agent says he died peacefully this morning after a long illness. And a dozen mad scientists, as they call themselves, have endured a charity walk to help a woman battling breast cancer raise £150,000 for Manchester's Christie Hospital. They set out from the hospital at midnight to walk 42 miles to Port Sunlight, where they work with Susan Welsh. In Super League, St Helens are in the south of France. They're being hammered by Catalan Dragons. A few moments ago, it was 36 to the Dragons, St Nil. Time for the weather now. Here's Kay Forster. Good evening. Well, it's been a mixture of sunshine and showers today. There will be a few showers around tomorrow, but I think it's looking mostly dry and the cloud will be chopped up into the afternoon again to give us some brightness. Now, we still have some of these showers around at the moment. These ones will tend to fade away overnight, so it will be a dry night. Some clear spells developing at first, but then the cloud will start to roll back in and it will turn a little bit misty around the coast once again as well. But a very muggy night to come tonight. Temperatures not much lower than 14 or 15 Celsius. So a bit of a murky start tomorrow morning. Morning. There will be a couple of light showers across the Pennines, but most places should stay dry and bright into the afternoon. That cloud will be chopped up to give us some sunshine. Temperatures up to around 19 or 20 degrees away from the coast, and we're staying fairly settled for the rest of the week. That's it from us. Have a good evening.